My name is uh, John Manners Bell, and I am Chief Executive of TI Insight. Well, of course, many people will focus around all the positive uh, elements of disruption and innovation in terms of efficiencies and sustainability. But of course, there are many negatives as well. And one of the, the key negatives that could result from uh, innovation um, is around automation. Many people believe, myself included, that much of the industry will become automated in the next 10 years. Uh, warehouses, for example, will, be, will use robotics a lot more than they do at the moment. And there's even chalk about the uh, transport uh, uh, trucks, for example, becoming uh, autonomous. Now, there are many millions of people employed within the transport and logistics industry. And some people believe, even in the UK, that one million jobs could be affected. Uh, automation can reduce uh, uh, the numbers, the levels of jobs which uh, have um, were very process orientated uh, and so uh, a lot of low skilled labour is at risk. And of course that's a big problem for governments in terms of where they are able to generate new jobs. There are, are issues related to reskilling of people working within the logistics industry, for example. But it's not just about automation. Uh, we're also seeing with the development of on-demand business models, or, uh, for example, that it's generating a lot more traffic. And in terms of the environmental impact of those uh, extra vehicles on the road, uh, that could result in a lot more emissions rather than fewer. Uh, another element, of course, is the uh, gig economy, which uh, is being a lot in the, in the press recently in terms of the uh, employment conditions and, uh, and, and pay for many, many uh, tens of thousands of people who work in this particular sector. Uh, is that in their best interest? Is it ethical or not? Or whether are people being taken advantage of? And I think over the next few years, really, governments, um, labour organisations and uh, employees themselves will have to get to grips with these new ways of working uh, in terms of taxation policy, for example, as well as uh, the human resources issues. So although there are po very many positive elements to innovation disruption on the industry, there are these, uh, these really quite important uh, risks which will have to be uh, looked at in, in quite a lot of detail by governments. That's not only just automation, uh, not only the on-demand and its impact on the environment, uh, but also the, uh, the, the ethical uh, relationships between employees and their employers as well. So there are, there are many other risks, of course, but uh, I would highlight those three as some of the most important. 